It's an attorney helping lead the election interference case against former President Donald Trump and others is under mounting scrutiny tonight after a defendant accused Fulton County Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade of having an, an improper personal relationship with DA Fonnie Willis. So now joining us is 11 Alive investigative reporter Zach Merchant, bringing us a connection, another connection here. Yeah, and it's important to say right off the bat here, the allegations made in that filing have not been proven so far, but it is not the first time Wade's conduct has been questioned. Back in 2020, after a series of deaths in the Cobb County Jail, 11 Alive filed an open records request for documents related to the deaths. Despite having released many of those documents to the public in the past, the Sheriff's Office refused to release those records to us saying many of the cases in question had been reopened as part of an external review of the jail. Nathan Wade's law firm was tasked with leading that review. 11 Alive ultimately sued to bring those records to light. In a filing in October of 2020, Cobb County's lawyer wrote that over the course of five months, Wade and his law partner had met with numerous staff members and inmates and reviewed hundreds of files. But when questioned by 11 Alive's lawyer Derek Bauer at a hearing just three days later, Wade said he didn't have any records of his work. You do not have a single record in your possession that's associated with the review and assessment that you've been engaged to undertake? I do not. Does your law firm possess no. any records? No, sir. As your review and assessment for the Cobb County Sheriff's Office stands today, you have no work product whatsoever associated with that undertaking, correct? Oh, I have work product. It's just not uh, in the form of documents, communications, or record memorializing, reflecting evidence, or relating to the work, um, as you've put it here. Okay, well, what work product do you have? Well, I, I have, obviously, my my brainchild, my, what's going on in my mind about it. Um, that's what I have. In a ruling in favor of 11 Alive, a Superior Court judge ultimately dismissed Wade from that 2020 case, but also noted he had not produced any reports or other documentation. All right, so definitely more to come on this, Zach. Thanks so much. And neither Wade nor Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis have responded to requests for comment on this story. So the next step here, 11 Alive and a coalition of other news organizations are hoping to unseal records that could prove or disprove the current allegations involving Willis and Wade. A big